Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the Seguin Independent School District Electronic Book Collection. All of our secondary and elementary campuses now have a collection of ebooks available for student use 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. To access a campus's ebook collection, you must first locate the campus's library homepage. An easy way to do this is to visit library.seguin.k12.tx.us. Here you will find links to all of the library homepages. Click on the link to your child's campus library homepage. Once you've reached the library homepage, you're going to locate the link to Follette Shelf eBooks. This may be located in a different part of the web page depending on the number of links available on that campus library homepage. Click the link and you'll be taken to the campus's virtual bookshelf. Here you'll find a list of all of the titles available to students at that campus. The standard view when you log in will show the book cover designs for individual books. To view all of the books, you can simply scroll down the page. As you reach the bottom of the list, others will be added. The books are currently arranged according to when they were added to the collection. The most recent are first, and the oldest are at the end of the list. You can change the way the books are arranged by clicking A to Z to do them alphabetically or Z to A to do them reverse alphabetically. Additionally, you can view a different type of list here that includes a short synopsis of each book and also tells you the number of copies available. For example, the book Paradise has one copy available for checkout. The book Duel of Dragons has unlimited copies for checkout. You can further filter books by several different criteria. For example, you can filter by author. Simply click on author, scroll through the list, and select the author whose books you wish to view. If I click Suzanne Collins, I get the Hunger Games trio. To remove the filter, simply click Clear All. Other filters available include availability, is the book available for checkout or not, subject matter, genre, and this one, Accelerated Reader, which is particularly useful to students in Seguin Independent School District. By clicking Accelerated Reader, I can select a specific Accelerated Reader level. For instance, if I'm only supposed to look at books that are between levels 4.5 and 6.0, I can slide this slider to narrow that range and then click Apply. Notice now that my list of available titles has narrowed to 49, but all of these titles are appropriate for my specific reading level. To remove this filter, as with the author filter, click Clear All on the left. <clears throat> in order to read a book, you have to first log in to Follett Shelf. An easy way to do so is simply to click on the book, and you'll be prompted to log in. Enter your username and password. Your username and password should be your student identification number. If you're unsure what your username or password is, contact your campus librarian who will be very happy to assist. Click Log In. And the book you wish to read will open in your virtual reader. Notice a couple of features here first off. You can zoom in to make the view larger or zoom out to make the view smaller. To navigate through pages of the book, simply click on the arrows at the bottom right or up here at the top left you can find a contents menu. Click the contents menu and it will bring you a list of all of the contents of the book. I can go to a specific chapter. and begin reading at chapter 1 by using this list. One important distinction to understand is the difference between reading books online and actually having a book checked out. As long as I am logged in and in this browser session I can continue to read this book. However, it is not checked out to me, meaning I run the risk of returning later to read it, having someone else having 
already checked out the book and it not being available to me. To eliminate this risk, I need to check out the book. Note that there is a limit of one ebook checked out to each student at a time and that the checkout period is the same as with physical books in the library is two weeks. To check out this book, I'm going to click on this little backpack up here or book bag and I'm going to receive a prompt that allows me to do three things. To simply continue reading, to close the book, or to check out. I'm going to click check out. The book is now checked out to me. I know, am now given my due date. One unique thing about ebooks is that on the due date, the book will automatically be returned to the virtual bookshelf. No more late fees. Once I have a book checked out, I have some other features that are very useful. I have some student study features such as a highlight tool, which allows me to select and highlight text that I wish to remember. I can also add notes. If I need to take some notes on an important concept or point of a story, I click Save, and now I've got a note added. I can view all of my highlights and notes in one place with this very useful tool here, Book Notes. Book Notes gives me a list of everything I've highlighted and any notes I've done, which can also be printed for my reference. Great study tool. If I want to delete any of these highlights or notes, I simply come to this page and click Delete, and the highlight is gone. To return to the Follette shelf to look at more books, I simply come up to the top left and click Follette shelf. From here I can browse more books as before or I can once again return to my book bag to continue reading by clicking up here. I get a virtual bookshelf here showing any books I have checked out. If I am finished reading and want to return the book early so I can check out another book, I can return to my book bag here, go to the button at the bottom click it and it'll allow me to return it as early as I wish. Now I have no books currently checked out and I can go in and check out another book. This should provide you with enough knowledge and skill to navigate the basics of the electronic book collection for the district. If you have any specific needs or questions that weren't answered with this tutorial, you're encouraged to contact your campus librarian who is eager to help you and get you started using the electronic book collection. Thank you and have a great day.